It's that time again, ladies and gentlemen. What is up, guys? It is Finn here, bringing you guys some more Failure Friday, Episode 3. And I got a couple good ones, couple funny ones for you, including one from myself. Let's see if we can get 200 likes this episode. I know we can do it, so go ahead. Hit that like button, share that love and support, and subscribe. And join the Dorsal family if you guys feel ever so kind. Real quick, I want to thank you guys so much for 30,000 Dorsals. We just hit it either this morning or late last night. I don't know what, but I woke up to it. So thank you guys all so very much. I really appreciate it. And um, I really can't thank you guys enough. And also, uh, I just want to say this now in case I forget, but I probably won't. But I might. If you guys have any clips for Failure Friday, preferably only ones that are captured via PlayStation Share, Capture Card, or Xbox if they have something like that, please be sure to send them to NHLFailureFriday at gmail.com. All right, let's finally get into these clips. So the first one comes from my boy King Bling, who is playing a EASHL game when one of the players on the opposing team randomly for whatever reason just glitches out and jumps out of nowhere but this is actually a glitch that i would love to happen for me if i was playing this team take a look oh, ah, what? he took what himself out of position what the fuck Hey, B, get that on video, bro. I can only imagine the reaction of the opposing team when they saw that happen. Because if I was that player that randomly just glitched and jumped, I would be freaking out and be very... I'd just be very frustrated. I really would be. I don't think I would recover from that. I really don't. But for you and your team, if I was on your team, I would be very happy that that occurred. Most glitches... Uh, get people pretty upset, but as for that one, that was definitely an hist a uh, hysterical one. So thank you for sending me that on Twitter. I appreciate that. It was a very, very funny clip. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this next one, where a play along the boards ends up resulting in a goal. Take a look. Able to attack now. Scrum over, puck kicked. <laughs> One of the defenders from the other team actually just literally poked that into his own net. Like, he set himself up for that blooper. That was... <laughs> That one was really funny. I re That might be my favorite one, I think, out of all of these. I know we only have three for this video, but that one I think is my favorite. Yeah, I think it's safe to say I have never scored a goal from kicking it out while being pinned against the boards. I don't think that's ever happened to me. So thank you very much for submitting that clip. I really do appreciate it. A very funny one, so thank you. And now for our last clip, which comes from... Me, myself, I was playing a franchise game with my Quebec Dorsals, my expansion team, and this glitch definitely ended up being a, a pro for me. Just, you guys have to see this. So I'm literally playing franchise mode, and watch what happens to this guy, right? He goes over by the boards, and his leg just gets stuck. He's stuck in the boards. And it, he won't come off either. He's just... I, I really don't know what to make of this. I really don't. Like, it's been stuck there for a long time. I'm killing a penalty right now, so it is helping me out a lot. So, as you can see, they're a guy short right now. And now, while they go back up the wing... Or back up the ice... There he is. And there are gonna be offside. <laughs> oh, man. I honestly could just hold the puck in my zone to win this game. I'm not going to do that, though. But, like, how, do, how does that happen? So now we're even. I really don't, I don't know what to do. They can't really do anything, so... Their best thing to do would just be to go 
offside or back onside. Oh, he's he's loose now. All right, he's good. I don't know what happened there, but that was that was pretty damn funny. That that made my day. Oh, it sure did make my day. Anything to prevent the other team from coming in my zone works for me. I know that maybe it was a little cheap that I didn't clear it over the boards or anything like that to get a face-off going, but you know what? This game and the AI have screwed me over so many times with stupid goals and glitches and things that just shouldn't happen that the AI shouldn't be able to do, but they do. So this is payback to the AI, so... We're not even close to even, but, you know, it had to be done. I had to let this one slide. But, guys, that is going to do it for this edition of Failure Fridays. I uh, I know that there was only three clips this episode, but I hope you guys still enjoyed. But I need more clips. If you guys have clips, please send them my way. At me them on Twitter. Uh, I accept the emails from NHLFailureFriday at gmail.com. So, please be sure to send them my way. That will do it. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And thank you all again so much for 30,000 subscribers. Next stop, 40. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.